Welcome back Hamilton High School students. With all the change we've had to endure over the last several months, it's really exciting to get you all back in the building and, and for us to get rolling again. Um, this school year is gonna be different than anyone we've ever encountered. But with all the changes, I just wanna make sure you know that we still are dedicated to offering you top-notch opportunities um, for you to pursue in an effort to find success in your future. So. Uh, I'm going to go over a lot in this video, um, welcoming you back, but I just want to remind you that we are an excellent school. U.S. News rated us the number two school in the, in the state, right behind Bozeman High School, and that's because of all the great opportunities we offer, but also because of you, the students who are great, who pursue uh, all these opportunities, and you know, you guys do awesome. You do a great job. Our teachers are phenomenal. Our community is great, and this is a great place to live and go to school. So. Welcome back, and it's going to be a great year. Be positive, be respectful, stay safe, and, you know, we're here to graduate. So with that, I'll get into some different notes here about what you can expect this school year. Well, when you arrive to school, remember the first thing you're going to do before you even get here is perform the district required uh, personal health screen. Make sure you don't come to school if you're not feeling well, if you have any of the symptoms on the COVID checklist, or if you're running a temperature. Uh, the last thing you want to do is, to, is, is be sent home because you're running a fever when you get to school. So please make sure you, run, uh, you, you perform that checklist. And if you're not feeling well, have your mom or dad or your guardian call the school and let us know. All right, so when you arrive here this year, we're starting a little later, later. So that should make some of you pretty happy. We're starting at 845. That's when classes start and you're getting done at 305. So your school day is a little shorter. Uh, you can thank COVID for that. And if you're happy about that, I suppose that's one perk. Um, make sure you're here on time. The, the doors to the west entrance where I'm standing here, they will open at 8.30. I encourage you to get here about 8.40 and head straight to class. Another you know, new thing we're gonna have to deal with this year is wearing the masks. You're gonna need to have your masks on all the time. When you walk in the door, please uh, have your mask on and then you're gonna leave your mask on while you're in the building. Um, if you really need a mask break, check in with your teacher and let them know and we can arrange something uh, or wait until the passing periods because during passing periods you'll be able to pop outside and if you're outside and socially distanced you can take your mask off for a few minutes and, and catch a break. Something else that's pretty new that some of you are going to be pleased with and some of you are going to be disappointed with is we have no lockers. So no lockers this year and you're going to be allowed to carry your backpacks from class to class. The reason we have no lockers is we don't want you uh, lingering in the hallway and congregating in groups and uh, potentially spreading uh, virus if somebody's positive. So please make sure that you are prepared on day one with your backpack. In between each class, you're gonna have 10 minute transition periods. So at least in between first and second, you'll have 10 minutes and then you'll have lunch. You'll have a 35 minute lunch in between second and third. And then between third and fourth, you'll have another 10 minute transition. So it's really important that you recognize that's a long time for you to get a break. That's a plenty of time for you to get outside. If you do choose to come outside for, your, for a mask break or just to get some fresh air, please get on the west side of the building and spread out. Um, in the hallways, when you're moving around, you should keep your mask on. But if you can pop outside to get a quick breather, that's fine. Um, 10 minutes is a long time. Remember that uh, you shouldn't have a tardy if we have 10 minute transitions. Some schools have three to five minutes in between classes. So we're giving you plenty of time. We think it, you need it, you need to take a break, but make sure that you're using that time well and you're responsible and you get yourself to class so we don't have to deal with tardies at HHS. So like I mentioned with lunch, it's uh, 35 minutes long. It is open campus for sophomores through seniors. So sophomores, juniors and seniors, you're, you're welcome to leave campus. I encourage you to leave campus in small groups that are the same kids that you are normally socializing with. So you're not making your social circle too large and, ex and potentially exposing yourself to someone who might be asymptomatic with coronavirus. So, you know, when you leave campus, please leave in a timely manner. Um, please uh, be respectful and responsible like you always are when you go out in the community. Uh, if you're in the vehicle with other people, you're probably gonna wanna keep your mask on. So use common sense with, with mask wearing and, and if you're going into businesses, respect their rules. And uh, I would encourage you to look at getting some takeout and coming back and, and if it's nice outside, eating outside. Um, we're encouraging kids who stay here on campus to eat outside. If you, uh, if you do eat on campus, make sure that you understand how many people are allowed to be at your tables 
and where you're allowed to sit and eat during lunchtime. Um, and we can, your, your teachers can help you understand that when you look at the HHS reopening guidelines. Everybody, please remember to use hand sanitizer uh, frequently. When you enter and exit a classroom, it's always good to, to use some hand sanitizer. Um, be really responsible about your own uh, sanitary habits and just make sure you're doing everything you can to keep yourself healthy and safe. At the end of the day, we've got a new routine. Uh, of course, your you know, final dismissal is at 3.05. If you're a bus rider, you're going to be getting out of school at about 3. Um, the reason you're being released at 3 o'clock is so that you can get to the buses. The buses will be lined up on the south side of the building where they've always been, and you'll need to get straight out to that bus so that you can hop on. And ideally, those buses are going to be moving out of the parking lot by the time the rest of the school is dismissed at 3.05. It's really important for you student drivers to recognize when those buses start moving, you must stop and yield to that traffic. So if you're a student driver and you see the buses moving, we're gonna be out here, but you need to make sure that you stop and let those buses clear so we don't have a big traffic jam where you're getting in the way of buses, they're getting in the way of you, and it takes forever to get everybody out of here. So when they're moving, we stop, we stay out of their way, and we will help guide that traffic, but just know that my expectation is and our expectation is that if you're driving and the buses are moving, you're stopped and you're waiting um, patiently for them to exit. And that'll get them out of here quick and it'll get you out, out of here faster too in the long run. A really major change that we're dealing with with our new schedule where we have four classes every single day and you're only enrolled in four classes at a time rather than our AB schedule is that you're earning a semester's worth of credit in a quarter. So it's really important that you understand that that quarter grade will be stored on your transcript as a semester credit. So that grade really matters. You're no longer averaging first quarter and second quarter to get a semester grade. Your first quarter grade will be the, the standalone grade that, that gets you half a credit. Your second quarter and third quarter and fourth quarter grade will follow. So it'll, they'll be standalone grades on your transcript. If you're in a class like English or math, those classes that are traditionally a year long, they'll be half a year long and each quarter will be your semester grade. So please be aware of that change and so things are going to move faster. Obviously you're going to the same class every day, that's quite a bit different than what you're used to for those of you that, sophomores, that are sophomores, juniors and seniors. And for freshmen this is all new to you, but just recognize that it's going to go quick and that quarter grade at the end of the quarter it's going to be stored and it, it's a pretty high stakes process. So you need to make sure that you're following along with your classes, you're communicating with your teachers, you're paying attention to the grade book, and you're doing everything you can to make sure that that grade reflects the hard work and effort you've put in. So please make sure that you realize that change and that if you have any questions, ask your teachers about the process, come find me and ask me about the process. But it's gonna be a different year, it's gonna be an adjustment, and if we're not paying attention to it, the quarter can end before we know it and all of a sudden you miss an opportunity to earn credit. And remember, you have to earn credit to graduate. So it's incredibly important that you understand and ask any questions about that process at the beginning of the year. So I just ask all of you to please stay positive, stay engaged, be accountable for yourself, and you know, be compassionate. Be nice to your peers, be nice to your teachers, be nice to your family, be nice to your siblings. Uh, we are all in this together. We're gonna work through this. This is a challenging year, it's tough. Um, it's an exciting year. We've got a lot to look forward to. It's going to be really fun to get back into the swing of things. And all these things that we have in place right now, they're in an effort to keep you safe and to protect our school year. Uh, when we had to close the doors last year, it was, it was unprecedented. It was, like, it was like nothing I'd ever experienced in my life. And I'd really rather not have to do that again. Uh, to cancel sports and to cancel activities, it just, it just quite frankly, it sucks, right? And we don't want to get there again. We, we don't want to be in a place where we have to cancel those activities. So wearing a mask, to me, is a small sacrifice uh, that, that keeps us doing the things that we really love and, and allows us to offer an education in a way that I think resonates with most of you, that most of you would prefer. Uh, that's why we're coming to school today, because we didn't like being at home and, and cooped up and, and locked away from our peers and our, and our sports and activities that we do really enjoy. So be positive, be engaged, be accountable to yourself and to others. And uh, you know, be kind and compassionate to yourself as well. And I really look forward to a, a really strong school year. Um, please ask questions. Uh, you, we, we don't have all the answers, be prepared to be fluid and, and be, uh, be prepared for some change. 
um, and we got to roll with the punches, but it's going to be a good year. We're excited to have all of you and uh, to the whole student body. Uh, go Bronx and let's have a phenomenal school year.